to track how the user's doing with consistency, I'm going to add a variable. And I'm going to call this days in a row. How many days in a row are they doing green things? And we want to reward them with some motivational words if they are good about that. I'm going to initialize that to zero. But then in our screen initialize, let's get that information from TinyDB. We're going to store that information in TinyDB as well. So we're going to set that. So days in a row two. And let's do get value. And we're going to call this days in a row. And instead of zero, it'll be one. because So today's day one. So um, we'll initialize it to one. So they've got today at least. We're also going to store that information. So let's go to TinyDB over here. And we're going to store the value. And the tag for this one's going to be days in a row. And the value that we're going to store is that variable. So we'll do a get and days in a row. The second thing we want to store is we want to store today's date, right? So we want to be able to tomorrow when the user comes in to say, was the last day yesterday? And if that's the case, then we can say, oh, it's two days in a row that they're tracking their green activities. This is going to be called last day of activity. And we're going to go to the clock component and we can go to clock now. But there's a quirky thing about the clock component where you have to convert it to milliseconds. Get milliseconds. This is just for storing it in TinyDB so that we can actually do the calculation to determine how much time between the last activity and today. We'll store this. Then what we need to do, and we're going to do this before we do the storing, because that's actually going to be the last thing, is we're going to try to figure out how many days in a row there working. So we're going to have an if and we're going to go to TinyDB and say get the value and we're going we want to get the last day of activity. So we're hoping that it was yesterday. And the if the tag is not there, so if this is the first time they've used the app, there'll be no tag. We're going to go ahead and actually we'll just copy it here. Use today, right? Okay, so we want to get that value. And then what we need to do is get the duration. We can say, what's the duration between two times? The last day of activity and then our current time. We're going to go to clock and we want to find duration. So duration, and we want the start to be the last day of activity, which could be yesterday. It could be a week ago. We don't know. And we want that, the difference between that and this moment now, and hope that it's a day. If we go back to clock, we want to take that duration, which will be a, a number, and we want to convert it to days. Because this clock now is actually a number down to the millisecond, this exact moment in time, duration is going to give us the number of seconds between those two times. In fact, the number of milliseconds as we stored down here. So we want to take that and change that to days. And what we really want to say is, well, is the number, the duration between these two moments one day? And if that's the case, then we're saying, okay, we're, we're doing two days in a row. So I'm going to use the math equals block and we're going to say if this is equal to one. If that's the case, we can go ahead and say, yeah, you've done another day in a row. So we're going to increase that by one. We're going to say set days in a row to the current number plus one. Get days in a row and we'll add one. Now we know the number of days in a row, so let's do something with it. So let's go back to the designer and actually add under here. So let's go to stats arrangement, make, make it visible so we can add it in and we can add a new label. And I'm going to put that right at the bottom and let's probably make it, maybe make this green as well. Green and then customize it to make it darker and maybe make it bold and maybe make it bigger. For now, we're just going to make it blank. So I'm going to remove any text. But then what we can do is start to check and let's give them 
you know, more motivation for the number of days in a row. So we might say, and I'm just going to do here an if then else because we're going to have multiple possibilities here. And I'm going to say if, if this is two, that means, so this is the first time they've done two days in a row. So we want to say, yay, good job. I'm going to go to my new label and actually let's rename this. So we're going to call this consistency label. And what I'll do is if it's two, let's go ahead and set this to say something like great start, keep up the good work. If it's more than two, I'm actually going to set it. So let's do a copy and paste this. And I'm going to use a join. And I'm going to grab that number so that we tell them how many days in a row they've worked. I'll erase this and say days in a row. So they'll know, oh, two, three, four, five. Then what I can do is, you know, we, you can decide what you want to do to delineate what's good, great, and more. So maybe we'd put in an if and do a series. So we could say something like, if the number of days in a row, and let's say, is less than six. So now remember, this is how ifs work. So it's, if it's two, it'll just say this great start. Otherwise, now it's going to start displaying the number of days and then we're going to check. So if it's less than six, that means it would be three, four, or five, right? If that's the case, what we want to do is say set the consistency label text to, and we're going to use another join. And what we want to do is join this, what we've already got, which is, you know, three days in a row. So that's going to be consistency label dot text. And we're going to join that with another kind of affirming or motivating sentence. And you could say something like, oh, way to go, keep going. And then you can decide, oh, you know, I want to also change what happens if, you know, they get up to say 10. So in this case, it'll be less than six. If it's not less than six, then it's going to check, is it less than 11? So that would be six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 days. So for that, we might want to say something a little more like, oh, you're amazing. Keep being green. And then what we can do then is uh, duplicate that. And you can add more else's if you want, if you wanted to have more motivating things, or you could get badges or anything like that. This would be otherwise, so it would be 11 and more, so more than 11 days. You could say something like, you're a green machine. Keep rocking it to save the planet.